traveling here and there. Tamo Paha Prabhu has kindly donated a mini car. children, teachers, all can travel here and there and they can Yes, 
that is school should progress. So many children from all over the world should come and it should be ideal school. I think it is still ideal. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So, some devotee has requested initiation, although the initiation done yesterday, and fire sacrifice will take place tomorrow, 9 a.m., headed by Sripa Damodar Maharaj. So, some devotee has requested for initiation, it will take place tomorrow, just before 9 a.m., in the Bhajan Kuti of Silo Guru Dev. So whoever desire for this session, they have to come there before 9 a.m. Krishna Rama, After that, Hare Krishna Rama, the drama player, be ready for drama. You're gonna have the play. We're gonna have a play. The kids, yeah. So you watch. Hare Krishna. Tonight, on this very special night of Anakut Maha Mahotsav, just want to announce that today we had over 900 preparations. So, being such a special night for the pleasure of Srila Gurudev, our Tridandi Sanyas Gyan, all Vaishnavas, all Vaishnavis, and all of our honored guests uh, the, and other friends of theirs from other places have put together a very beautiful Braj Leela drama play for Srila Gurudev and all of you. So we pray that you will uh, appreciate it, enjoy it, and if there's any mistake, please forgive us. Can everybody please just also scoot back another couple of feet? This is a big drama and we need extra space. Kiriraj Govardhan Ki Tonight, with the aspiration to please Srila Gurudev and the assembled Vaishnavs, we humbly present this drama entitled Sri Surya Kun. Shrimati Radhika and Sri Krishna meet at Surya Kun, a place of very sweet pastimes. Once, Shrimati Radhika was sitting on the bank of Surya Kun with a few of her sakis and they were glorifying Sri Krishna's beautiful form, flute, and praying Madhurya. In the meantime, Krishna arrived in that place. There was so much joking going on, and somehow, very trickily, Krishna stole Srimati Radhika's ring. This ring is very auspicious because it is a sign of her chastity. Krishna immediately ran away back to his sakas and took rest in a forest grove. Srimati Radhika returned back from Surya Kund to meet with the rest of her sakis. Hey Radhi, it seems that something on you is missing. What 
is it? I know. You are not wearing your ring. Oh, Rodney. Have you lost it? Where could it be? Oh, Suckies. I don't know where it is. I must have lost it. What can I do? Oh, Sucky. It is very unlike you to misplace such a treasured possession. That black snake, Sham, must have stolen your ring. He did, didn't he? Yes. At Surya Kun, there was so much laughing and joking going on. He must have stolen it then. But how will we get it back? If you return home and you're not wearing your ring, then Jyotila and Koti will be furious and will certainly punish you. Well, Radhika, I think there's only one thing that you can do. I happen to know of a thief who is taking rest in a nearby grove. So you should go very quietly and steal his flute from his hands. Once you have his most treasured flute, you can then bargain with him and get back your ring. Yes, this is a very good idea. Let us tie Radhika's ankle bells so that no one will hear her. must have stolen it. Krishna, you should go and get it back from them. Hey, Lalita, you know that my flu is very dear to me. Just now, I was taking rest because I was so tired from herding cows. And when I woke up, I couldn't find my flu anywhere. Have any of you gopis seen it by any chance? Oh, Govinda, there are limitless groves of bamboo in Vrej. So what would any of us want with your piece of bamboo? Oh. <laughs> you will have to search elsewhere for your flute. Now please, go away. Can't you see that we are busy? <laughs> you go please think you are very clever, but I will find my flute. <laughs> I just know that the gopis have my flute. But they are denying it. Hmm. How will I get my Vamsi back from the Sakis? You know, Krishna, we're just as intelligent as those gopis. Don't worry, we'll think of something. <laughs> I think I've got it. Suba, you must dress up Krishna like a very beautiful Vraj gopi. Then? going very close to where the gopis are sitting. You must roll on the ground and cry. But if you do not take darshan of Krishna, you will surely give up your life. <laughs> you know, Madhu, this just might work. <laughs> hey, Krishna! Hey, Govinda! I cannot see you. I will surely give up my life. Who is this girl crying for Govinda? She is in a very serious condition. We must help her. Hey, Lita. Hey, Vishaka. I know that you are most near and dear to Krishna. So please, allow me to take 
darshan of him otherwise. I will give up my life. Gopal is very far away hurting the cows. And we must help this sucky right now. I know what we can do. Radhika, we will dress you up to look just like Krishna. And you can play his flute. This may be the only way that we can save her. and you are the most loveliest girl in Brudge. I guess I can give it back to you. Taribo! Jai Radhe Jai Krishna Jai Abhinava Rashika Mukhuta Mani There is a temple for Surya Dev at Surya Kund. On Sundays, Srimati Radhika goes to Surya Kund on the pretext of performing worship of Surya Dev or Mitra Dev. One Sunday, just around midday, Krishna was feeling very anxious to meet with Srimati Radhika at Radha Kund. He played a trick on his sakas and made an excuse to leave for a little while. After meeting with Srimati Radhika, Krishna could not tolerate her separation, so he went to meet her at Surya Kund, disguised as a Brahmin. At that time, Dartila was looking everywhere for a qualified Brahmin to perform the worship for her daughter-in-law. Oh dear, Dr. Kutila, we must perform our Surya Puja, the time is very fast coming. <coughs> Where is a bona fide pujari today? I'm not seeing any. Oh, what shall we do? It would be most inauspicious if we neglect our worship. By worshiping the sun god, certainly we increase our herd of cows, and we bring good fortune to our dear Abhimanyu. <laughs> Two Brahmanas! Perhaps they can do the worship for us. Hmm. Let's check them out. 
Namaste, dear sirs. It appears that you are perhaps persons of the renounced order? <laughs> perhaps you are Brahmins? Oh yes, we are the sons of Brahmins. Well, we have never seen you anywhere coming, going. So where are you coming from? Well, we're not from around here. We reside in Matura. Matura, Basi. You said you're the sons of Brahmins? Who is your exalted father? Our father is Gargacharya. Oh. Gargacharya. Very popular. Ah. <laughs> well, exalted Brahmins, we are satisfied by your responses now. So perhaps you would be so kind to f perform some worship for us today? Actually, we do not have anything to do with women. <coughs> we are brahmacharis from birth, and thus contact with women is just not in our best interests. <laughs> Anyways, since we are sattvic brahmacharis, we do not do any demigod worship. We only worship Surya Dave. Nobody else. That's perfect. My sister-in-law worships Surya on Sunday. The time for puja is fast approaching. And you are the first Brahmins we've come by. Well, since you are worshiping Surya Dave, and it is for your daughter-in-law, I guess we can make an exception and offer the worship. But generally, we do not do this. Also, we never take any donations or gifts for our service. A Brahmin should never accept Dakshin. But if you really feel that you have to give us some Dakshin, I wouldn't say no to some Ladus. I have heard that Raj Ladus are very sweet and tasty. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, we know Braj Ladus very well. Ladus are no problem. So please, kind sirs, you just follow. We will go now to the Surya Mandir. No. That daughter in law of mine, that Radhika, she's always late, making me anxious. <laughs> Radhika, there you are finally. Don't you know what time it is? It's almost Surya Puja. <coughs> oh, Jotila, we have been searching all day, but we have yet to find any Brahmins. Well, by the mercy of the Sun God, we have found very high class Brahmins. <laughs> they are brahmacharis from birth. And they know all of the mantras. He chants so nice that he can execute a very high class standard of worship for you. So Radhika, what's wrong? Offer your obeisances very quickly. You offer your respects. And now, kind sir, please begin the worship. Oh, chaste lady of Brudge, please take these flowers in your lovely hands and repeat the mantras after me. Om Jaya Namaha. Om Jaya Namaha. Om Jaya Namaha. What is this meaning? Mitra has two meanings. One meaning is the sun god. And the other meaning is Pran Saka, or Krishna himself. Jyotila understood Mitra to mean the sun god only. She could not comprehend the loving emotions of Radha Krishna Jugo. In this tricky way, directly in front of Jyotila, Krishna is asking Radhika to offer herself to him. In this way, the puja was completed. Hey Radhe, 
The puja is now complete. You must offer some ornaments to this very fine Brahmin. It is not proper for me to offer the donation directly. Please give it to him yourself. Pussy girl. <laughs> Hi, sir. You did the puja so expert. Please accept this small dakshin. What need do I have of these ornaments? No, no, I will not touch them. I don't need it. I came by your request without any desire for payment. I am the disciple of Gargarishi, so therefore I cannot touch anything given from a lady. I am completely satisfied. We do not touch anything from women? My Guru Maharaj will never even think of it. Ladus, ladus, ladus. <laughs> but sir, please accept something, otherwise the puja is simply not complete. Okay, if I have to, I will take the ladus and ornaments. I'm sure I can think of something to do with those ladus. <laughs> Madhu Mangal kept those ornaments and ladus, wrapped them in his cloth. Krishna and Madhu Mangal quickly returned to where the cowherd boys were anxiously waiting for them. Hiding something. Oh, Madhu, do you perhaps have something very sweet and tasty to eat? Don't ask me. You're a Brahmin boy. He shouldn't be so greedy. <laughs> Should he? <laughs> was in mind. She became upset with Krishna and refused to meet with him. The days were passing and Krishna became very deaf. But it was impossible. In his desperation, he disguised himself as a Brahmin brahmachari, wearing wooden shoes and taking a book underneath his arm. In this way, he came begging in the in the area of Radha's home. <laughs> Who is it? Pavati Bhiksham Dehi. <gasps> it's a Brahmana. He has caught me at a most inopportune time. I have just been to Latrine. What shall I do? <gasps> Oh, dear Brahmin, sir, I am sorry, 
you have put me in an impure condition. I must go take bath. So I'm sorry, I cannot give you any alms. No, 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 wait, wait, wait right there. Uh, uh, let me go fetch my daughter-in-law. She can bring you alms today. Wait right there, don't go. <laughs> Radhika, Radhika, oh, there you are, sulking around the house with your girlfriends. It's time for you to get up, snap out of it, make yourself useful. There's a Brahmana here. I have to take my bath, so you should offer the alms. Some saintly person comes to our home, leaves empty-handed, great calamities will fall upon our heads. You are always telling me that I am unchaste. So how can I go and give alms to a strange man? Strange? Who said anything about strange? He looks perfectly normal to me. Quite respectable. Not anything at all like that black. Naughty boy, Krishna, oh, don't ever let me catch you anywhere near that boy. <laughs> yes, Marina, I will never let you catch me. <laughs> Good girl, you're finally starting to listen to me. I can only stay as long as it takes to milk a cow. Radhika, do you hear that? Just now, come in. Please wait. Radhika, our cow will shrivel up and die, Abhimanyu will go blind, I will have a heart attack, and it will be all your fault, you ungrateful girl. <laughs> but it is not chase for me to go. I've got to leave in a minute. Radhika! Radhika! You are not unchaste. Truly, you are the most chaste. So please, now, go satisfy that Brahmana! Alright, alright. I will go. I have not come to beg for these things, but rather, I have come to beg one jewel. I want you to place in my cloth the jewel of your sulky mood. This is the object of all. Sadhan bhajan and 
ゴンプレマーカリーボーハシュークリーです。マイダーラシュラディカ。ハリクリシナ、ハリブル。This is a very nice devotee. This is a Lalita k i t a n バタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタバタババスケット。
Other people are going to be getting shit also, but should be there, yeah. yeah. Hi. You were able to talk to Huh? You were able to talk to Gurudev? Oh, no. We got here, uh, what time was that? About 2.30, 2.45. Okay. Yeah, he just said don't pick Tulsi here. He didn't say why, he just said don't pick Tulsi here. And he just said that's like who it is. No, you know what I think? 